This is the Washington Times front page for Thursday, August 18th, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The U.S. Marshals Service is drafting a sanctuary policy that would limit the agency's ability to hold illegal immigrants for pickup by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, our Stephen Dynan has learned. Under the policy, marshals would be able to hold illegal immigrants for pickup by ICE on the say-so of an immigration warrant or detainer request. Once the Marshals Service is finished processing an immigrant for its custody purposes, the person is to be released, even if ICE has asked for a hold. Officials said the policy is still in draft form and didn't disclose what prompted it, but said it considered the update a confirmation of current practices. Billions of dollars set aside in President Biden's new spending law would reward people who buy electric vehicles, but Ramsey Touchberry reports the tax credits are in jeopardy of never reaching drivers' pockets. To produce battery-powered cars and trucks eligible for tax credits of up to $7,500, automakers would have to significantly change their sourcing and assembly methods. That's because China controls more than roughly 80% of the production of rare earth minerals worldwide. Those minerals are critical in producing electric vehicle batteries. Democratic lawmakers and the auto industry fear that stringent requirements for sourcing most battery materials from North America or free trade partners could render the credits useless over the next few years. EV startup Rivian said the battery requirements timeline pulls the rug out from consumers, and General Motors warned that some of the provisions are challenging and cannot be achieved overnight. Of the 72 EV models on the market today, 70% are ineligible for the tax credits. Differing lower court rulings on transgender issues will likely lead to consideration by the Supreme Court, which in recent years has declined to weigh in. Alex Warrior reports a federal appeals court ruled Tuesday that transgender people who experience gender dysphoria are protected from discrimination under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And earlier this month, a federal judge ruled that transgender patients in West Virginia must receive the same types of procedures offered to others under Medicaid. The increase in transgender litigation appears to be partly a result of the Supreme Court's 2020 decision in Bostock v. Clayton County. The justices ruled 6-3 that Title VII of the Civil Rights Act extends to protection for LGBTQ employees. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. Former National Security Advisor John Bolton says that a future Republican administration would seek to overturn whatever agreement the current administration makes with Iran. Joseph Clark and Guy Taylor report he made the assertions in an exchange with journalists in Washington. It came amid reports that Iranian negotiators have sought guarantees from the Biden administration that they would be compensated if an American president pulls out of whatever deal may be reached. It's unclear whether an agreement is imminent after more than a year of on-again, off-again negotiations against a backdrop of Iranian provocations toward the U.S., including suspected engagement in assassination plots against former officials, such as Bolton. And finally, Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney's next chapter, to rid the Republican Party of former President Trump and his acolytes, promises to be tough. Seth McLaughlin reports Cheney took Tuesday's expected primary loss in stride. She says she's thinking about a 2024 presidential run, and at the very least, she vowed to deliver her anti-Trump message to every corner of her party. In her concession speech, Cheney sketched out a vision in which Republicans, Democrats, and Independents unite behind her push to remove the cancer of Trump in a fight to defend democracy, the Constitution, and the rule of law. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in your favorite podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at WashTimes for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times... I'm George Gerbo.